everybody loves a party. And nobody has more reason to celebrate than you and I. You see, you've got good reason to celebrate because you're the new world champion. And I love it. Congratulations. But I've got reason to celebrate because that makes me automatically the number one contender. Right. Pour us a couple of drinks oh, here, yes, Paul. Oh, yes, sir. You know I will, Rick. Anything for you. Here's one for Rick. And guess who the other one is for? So I'd like to hey, propose a toast. A toast. What a gentleman. To Sting, the new world champion, and to ravishing Rick Rude, the man who owns the new world champion. Bottoms up, my friend. I ain't drinking with you, pal. <laughs> I got no reason to drink with you. you I got no reason. He wins the world title. All of a sudden, he's too good to drink with me. You'll drink with me when I tell you to. Oh, Jesus. You'll drink with me when I tell you to. You think you're too good? Why don't we just do it right now, then? You want a piece of me now? You want a piece of me now? Light him up, Rick! Light him up! Light him up! Light him up, baby! Hey! Get him! Get him! Now, Arn, that's a hell of a way to start a feud, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. I mean, listen, Luger's on his way out. So right here, in the, by the way, and this is a uh, press conference that now we're starting to get used to seeing after major pay-per-views. Back then, this wasn't a thing that we got that we saw very often. So the Kip Fry, who we talked about last week, there he was. We haven't seen yet. You know, for those that maybe didn't know what Kip Fry looked like, he's sitting in there with Sting. And he, and he kicks it off, and it has a real feel. They're asking about Nature Boy, who we know is in the WWF. So that's kind of, oh, okay. This seems like kind of a real press conference here. And then all of a sudden, here comes the antagonist of all antagonists, Rick Rude, and ratchets is up. You guys looking as only you can in your tuxedos. And, uh, my God, this, again, feels very Horseman-esque. Chaos. Hmm. Not perfect camera shots, not perfect audio, chaos. Felt really good. I enjoyed that. It was it was so well done, like you said. No perfect camera, no music playing as you guys walked in, as they were prepared for it. It was just all done off the cuff and felt real. But I want you to talk about Rick Rude because, man, uh, he is raising, he's risen to the occasion here. I mean... Uh, I, I think that uh, sometimes we forget about this period of his career. I mean, I know I've been guilty of it. I'll just say that. But he was so good here, and he had all the talent and ability as a heel in the world at this point. Yeah, and he was regarded as one of the legitimate tough guys in the business. You know, he was really, really salty. And all the go, you know, all the guys, Barry Darso, Demolition, my friend, the Road Warriors, all those guys... Uh, Kurt Henning, they always would talk about, you know, hey, you don't want to mess with Rick Rude. And uh, you saw some of it there. That was not a wrestling promo. That was a guy trying to make an impression. 